Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had an amazing week. Today I'm doing my June favourites. I have quite a small curated little collection of things this month because June's been kind of mad, if I'm honest. It's been a really, really, really hectic month. If you're a regular viewer of mine, you'll know this house has been sold and we have to move out of here in August. So there's been like a little bit of stuff for us to do in regards to where we're going next it's just sort of like constantly playing on your mind but also unfortunately this is a big unfavorite of the month our car got stolen this month uh, from our driveway which is really crap so that was like two weeks ago and that just was like oh, so don't need this right now because things have been so busy and hectic and it was just like mm, another thing to add to the list to worry about some good news is that it actually got found about two days ago the police actually found it which is crazy because i'd already like been back in touch with the insurance company to kind of get like the ball rolling on that process and usually if it hasn't been found in a week like the insurance company has kind of a week cool down period um, if it hasn't been found by that point, it's very rare that they'll find your car after a week. But two weeks later, the police had found it, um, which is cool, except, you know, we don't know kind of what condition it's in at the moment. It's currently getting checked out by the insurance company. If it's still in good enough condition to drive, but they just need to make some repairs, that'll have to be covered, or it could be perfectly fine, or it could be totaled. So... We haven't been given any details at this point of the kind of condition of the car but it is nice to know that it wasn't like stolen and ripped apart for parts because that was kind of like heartbreaking to think that the poor wee car was just getting like ripped apart in a chop shop but thankfully that's not the case um i did however have my tramping boots in the car when the car was stolen which i'm so gutted about so i'm really 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 hoping that they're in the car still like that would be that'd be awesome to be honest because like the car itself is insured but like the boots in the car that's kind of under our contents insurance and they're just not sort of like a big enough thing to claim once you take the excess out and stuff it's like i'm better off just buying new boots so let's fingers crossed that the hiking boots are still in the car because I'd really like those back otherwise I'm gonna have to buy new hiking boots so that's a real wow wow to start with total unfavorite of the month but I'll update you guys in a future video on what the verdict of the car situation is but on a more happy note um, I'm very excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Yes Style who are celebrating in July their 15th anniversary yay so they've sent me over a little gift box to unbox with you guys here again if you're a regular viewer of my channel you know I have worked with yes style many times in the past and I shop with them a lot and get a lot of my like skincare and beauty products from them as well as some really cool lifestyle products as well you guys are always asking where I get that little gold coffee clip from my coffee bag I show in almost every vlog that is from YesStyle. That's like a forever favorite. Like I could show that in every monthly favorite if I wanted to, because I love that thing. So to celebrate YesStyle's 15th anniversary, they are doing a giveaway with this video as well. I'll have all the information on how to enter the giveaway in the description. So check that on how to find out how to enter. But there are gonna be three winners. The first prize is you can get 15 orders with free shipping for up to a year, and that's with no minimum spend as well. And then I'm gonna pick two winners that will go in the draw to win a 150 US dollar coupon code each, which is really cool. But let's dig into this little anniversary box. This is just to give you a little taster of what YesStyle offers. So the way I like to describe what YesStyle is, for those of you that have never shopped on there or looked on there, it's basically like a giant online sort of department store that features a lot of Korean and Japanese beauty brands and fashion brands as well as homeware goods as well and a lot of the products are quite unique in their packaging and concepts compared to say Western products that we can buy in store so something like this little mask this is one of Dr. Jart's best-selling masks it's the shake and shot face mask <laughs> I definitely think this is quite popular because of the unique milkshake packaging Ooh, so we've got a little face mask in there and the cute factor continues we also have this adorable little foundation brush, but it's in the shape of a puppy paw. <laughs> Ooh, and this is so soft. This is by the brand By Vanilla. It's so cute. This is exciting. It's probably the thing I'm most excited about in this pack. As I said before, yes, I'll also have some cool like homewares and kind of more lifestyle products. And in this little anniversary box was this very cute little travel cutlery set. How adorable. So it's got a little wooden fork and spoon and then... Oh, a little straw and straw cleaner as well. You can even get really random things like uh, poo drops. <laughs> it just smells like kind of toilet freshener, but they're just in little drop form rather than those sprays. And then of course you can get some little makeup goodies on there as well. So this is a little lipstick set from the brand Romand. 
the Lip Bocky Edition set. So it's just like, <laughs> it's got like a little plate in there. That's adorable. And then it's got these little lip glosses. Oh, that's cute. So it's like a little nude gloss, as well as a couple of little red colors too. I definitely feel like the nude one is calling my name. If you're curious as well, this little scarf that I'm wearing in my hair today, that was also from YesStyle. So I might link a few of my personal favorite things that I've gotten off YesStyle in the description below if you're curious as well. I also have a special anniversary discount code. I'll put it here on the screen and in the description below. That'll get you 15% off any order over 49 US dollars for the next 48 hours. So it's only a very short period from when this video goes live and of course I'll have all the details for the giveaway in the description below so make sure you check that out before you click out of this video once again thank you guest for continuing to support my channel and let's head on with the rest of this month's favorites so if you've been watching my channel regularly this year you'll know that I have been on a bit of a journey to transition my makeup collection over to being cruelty free but one of the products I was really struggling to replace was my L'Oreal mascara the lash paradise and sandalwood wonder it's a brown mascara that i loved using on the daily because it was the perfect kind of brown shade where it actually looked brown like sometimes they just look black but this was a really true brown shade and the actual formula as well was amazing i loved everything about it but i was really really keen to try and find something that i could replace with it that was cruelty free and recommend to you guys in new zealand particularly it's really difficult to find good brown mascaras let alone one that is cruelty free so i decided to retry a mascara that I'd used years ago and thought it was pretty so-so. It's the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara. And I must say I like it so much more these days than when I tried it originally. The color is beautiful. This is in the shade Fierce Brown. The color is beautiful. The actual formula is really nice. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. It does build a really beautiful lash with a bit of volume but nothing too intense for like day to day. It washes off easily at the end of the day which is something I actually look for. I don't really like super waterproof mascaras unless I'm actually like swimming or something and it doesn't smudge under my eyes or do anything weird it's just it's a really good mascara I will say the only thing I don't like about it is the brush it is a plastic bristle brush this was kind of the reason I was hesitant to try it again um because it is one of those plasticky brushes I find it a little bit spiky <laughs> so you kind of there's a bit of a learning curve to know how to apply it it does have some slightly longer bristles on one side so i suggest using the short side but aside from the brush i do love everything else about this especially the price this is about a third of the cost of the l'oreal mascara here in new zealand for some reason flower beauty is really affordable here but things like maybelline l'oreal other sort of like traditional drugstore brands are so expensive so even price point alone i think this is just such good value you can often get it on sale but full price it retails for nine dollars 99 which in new zealand dollars is so affordable for makeup so because i wear brown mascara about 80 percent of the time i do want something that is relatively affordable because i will go through one of these every like two months or so very very happy to have rediscovered that if you were curious for what i had been switching out my l'oreal one for next up i have a fragrance that is relatively new to me as well it certainly looks that way because there's still so much in the bottle it's the replica by the fireplace fragrance Many of you probably have heard of this before. A lot of YouTubers have raved about this fragrance before, which is why I tried it. Um, and this was a little present to myself for passing my first trial, <laughs> trial number one, for the Tutti Violin job. I thought it was nice to mark the occasion. So I got myself a new fragrance. I'm typically someone that like only owns like one, maybe two fragrances at a time. I currently have three, so that's quite a stretch for me at the moment, but I'm sort of someone that like once I've found one that I love, I just tend to want to wear it all the time. So there's no point in me having like 12 fragrances, like some people have a fragrance collection. <laughs> that is not me in this case. I like having just like a standard kind of signature scent and then maybe one or two fun ones to kind of throw in there. And that's kind of what this one is. I still would regard the Maison Louis Marie number no. four Bois de Willacore. That's my like signature everyday fragrance. I've talked about it heaps on here before. But I wanted something that was a little bit different just for, you know, days I wanted to change things up. And I really do enjoy this one. It is a little bit sweeter on my skin than I expected. Like you smell it and you can definitely get that warm kind of, there's a warm vanilla -y note in there, but it's got a lot of smokiness when you sniff it from the bottle and when you first apply it. But I do find like, as it wears on my skin, I get less and less of the kind of wood fire, which I would prefer if it stuck around a bit smokier, but it is really beautiful and something a little bit different. I think when this bottle runs out, which will be ages because it's like very strong, you only need one spritz, um, that I'm quite keen to try the scent Jazz Club. I love the way that one smells. 
like at Mecca when I'm trying it on the little bits of paper. It smells really beautiful. It's a little bit more androgynous, I think. It's got that little bit more masculine note to it, which I really like in a fragrance. So I'm really enjoying this one, although it just was like a tiny bit sweeter, I think, than I expected it to be on my actual skin. And then I have two skincare favorites as well this month. If you watch my skincare update video, you'll know that I've had great success with my skincare routine as of late. Things have been going very well. Um, doesn't mean that I'm completely immune to breakouts. Since posting that update video, I did have one or two pop up, which was really frustrating because I was like, my skin's finally breakout free. But I mean, I think that's natural. People get breakouts even when their skin is in like a good way. And they're very small and they kind of went away fast and that's like the main thing. Um, but generally, my skin feels so so much clearer than it did months ago and I'm just feeling so happy with it and it's glowing and it's just in such a good way. So if you want to see my whole routine of what I'm using, definitely check out that video. I'll try and remember to link it above. But the two products that I sort of introduced the most recently and that I think really helped my skin to deal with the sort of winter dehydration that it's facing right now with all the artificial heat we're having to have in this home because it's so old and cold <laughs> and it's freezing outside it was snowing here yesterday definitely feeling it taking its toll on my skin's moisture levels so I incorporated this product the Cosrx triple hyaluronic moisture ampule this is a product I got off yesterday and this is basically like the K beauty version of like the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum it is very similar in texture, very similar in performance, but you do get a little bit more product in here and I have been finding this to be really, really excellent just for helping my skin to stay super hydrated because that's my main struggle. I have more of an oily skin type and I don't tend to lack oils on my skin. I don't have dry skin in the winter, but I tend to get very dehydrated skin, so it lacks water. Um, so that's why I tend to reach for the very hydrating products. And then on top of that serum, I would go in with this product, the Dare Clears Fundamental Water Gel Cream. Again, another K-Beauty product. Um, and one of the few Dare Clears products that's actually fragrance-free. Um, and this is vegan-friendly as well, and cruelty-free, of course, that both of these products are. And this is just such a nice gel cream moisturizer. If you have an oily skin type that like often finds moisturizers too heavy, um, and to sort of pore clogging. I definitely recommend checking out like more gel cream kind of textures. Um, I think I did a video on all my favorite kind of gel based sort of moisturizers years ago. Might have been a good two years ago or so. Um, but there are some really good recommendations in that video if you're curious. But this is definitely like one of the, the favorite ones that I've tried in a long time. It reminds me a lot of the Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid cream it's just this is a cruelty free version which is really cool and you get quite a lot of product in this you get 70 mils um, but I've been loving that little combination of going in first with the hyaluronic acid serum and then layering immediately the gel cream on top I just think it just gives my skin such a good like drink of moisture my next favorite is a fur coat and I know don't be alarmed it's not a new fur coat it's a vintage find I found this a few months ago actually over in Akaroa which is like a cute little town very close to Christchurch that should definitely be Akaroa not Akaroa but this is a vintage fur coat that was probably made about 60 or 70 years ago it was in pristine condition and it was actually made here in Christchurch at a like little local boutique back in the day it was the Greenberg Bros Limited Master Furriers 83 Cashel Street, Christchurch, which I thought was so cool. I have been absolutely loving this coat. Like, I, as I say, I bought it a few months ago, maybe back in March, but it just wasn't cold enough to wear it back then. So it's only been in the last like two months that I've been kind of really pulling it out and wearing it all the time. It's such a gorgeous shape and it just fits me so well. It fit like a glove. Of course, it was like a one of a kind little find in the store. So it's not something that like I can link for you guys, but I would just encourage you to scale your local vintage stores and op shops and give new life to these pieces that are just sitting there totally unloved. This piece seems like the lady who owned it before me had probably sat in her closet for most of its life and only was worn like a handful of times because it was just in such good condition it looked brand new so I'm determined to wear the hell out of it I've already been wearing the hell out of it in terms of entertainment this month I've definitely been quite distracted as you know with <laughs> everything that's been going on so my reading has definitely fallen by the wayside a little bit I'm definitely not on track to reach my goal this year but I have been finishing some books they're just they just take so much longer than normal but a book I've currently been reading on my Kindle 
and have just finished is another one by Barbara G. Walker, um, who I recommended earlier in the year when I read her book Man Made God. I just loved that book so much, I was like I really want to read more from her, so I read the book Belief and Unbelief, which the earlier chapters had a lot of recycled material from Man Made God, like I feel like she does repeat herself a lot because her books are like collections of essays, so every chapter essentially or essay can kind of stand on its own, therefore she re-explains things every time because someone might choose just to read that one section. But I did find the sort of latter 60% of the book had quite a lot of new stuff in it regarding, you know, the patriarchy, religions, um, beliefs, human belief in general, like not even looking so much at like specific religions, but just at our nature of how humans, you know, create these beliefs and stuff in their mind and it's just it was really fascinating if you enjoyed Man Made God I think you'd really enjoy it I, I loved it so that's what I've been reading this month but in terms of what I've been watching I've just been re-watching Friends boring I know everyone you know is re-watching Friends at the moment but I just felt like with how much I've had going on and my mental space is very limited like I just feel like I can't take on too much new information all the time so I just wanted to be in like a bit of a re-watching mood but it's just been like what I call comfort food kind of TV like I just wanted something that was really familiar that I didn't have to concentrate too hard on and that was very light-hearted just to kind of counteract all the craziness that's going on at the moment but that is basically it for my favorites today as I say not too many things to share but just a few really cool products that I've been loving remember to check out the description as well on how you can enter the yes style giveaway to celebrate their 15th anniversary and until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and we'll chat soon. Bye!